shell fishing in the Pacific Northwest is amazing. In the last few episodes, we have caught some of the most amazing and tastiest shellfish we have ever tried. In today's episode, we are going to catch some of the freshest oysters Washington has to offer. What's up you guys, welcome to another vlog. We're currently here on the western side of Washington to go oyster clamming. Is it oyster clamming or oyster harvesting? Harvesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be our first time doing this. It's currently 18 oysters per person. And I think you have to have at least, uh, what, two and a half inches of oysters. What do you think, Sean? Uh, I don't know. Sean's got the uh, tool for the oyster shucking. So here in the state of Washington, you actually have to shuck the oyster at the site where you got them from. Definitely make sure to do that if you're doing this activity here in Washington. So this place is looking pretty awesome. We're actually right next to the Olympic National Park here in Washington. Very greeny, I like it. And so 100% transparency here. So Kay and I have been trying to go fish for uh, King Salmon. A couple of the spots that we actually went to go fishing at uh, last year opened up here in Washington. But so far, we tried fishing for salmon about three times, uh, fishing for Chinook salmon, King Salmon. But uh, so far, no luck. Uh, and so, I don't know, we've been, Thinking about uh, Alaska <laughs> this past uh, couple weeks. Keep him. Keep him looking. Oh, he's on. <laughs> That's a big coho salmon. We might, uh, we might go. I don't know. We we haven't uh, fully decided yet, but we just want to catch some fish, catch some king salmon. Check this place out, it's so open. I think this is the uh, Hood Canal uh, here in Washington. Very open, very nice. A little bit high, that's good for the health. This spot is looking very good, very nice, very scenic. Look at this, look at, look at the mountains right behind me right now. And here's the water right there, very nice. Just the walk to the spot is amazing already. And right now there's a couple of folks already at the spot uh, oyster climbing or harvesting oysters. I still don't know. Definitely comment down below if you think I should be saying oyster clamming or oyster harvesting. So another thing about this spot is this is actually the spot where uh, they have caught or we've seen other folks catch uh, goey ducks, big goey ducks. Unfortunately though, the goey duck season for this uh, beach has ended already. Or actually, it hasn't even ended. It hasn't actually even started yet. But we're definitely gonna be back when it opens up, which is I think right now, uh, it's forecasted to open up next month. And right now, low tide is about negative uh, two or negative three or so. So it's uh, definitely low tide. So we're gonna probably try to see if we can see some of the uh, goey duck siphons. Obviously, we're not gonna go shoot for them right now because uh, the season is closed. This beach is only currently open for oyster climbing. And you can already kind of see some of the uh, shuck oysters on the beach. There's a lot of uh, shells around here. Look at that. This entire place is just filled with oyster shells. It's a small one at the end. Oysters right here. <gasps> Mine doesn't open. Oyster. So what's that entire thing? <laughs> I think it's a baby, it? baby, baby oysters. Yeah, baby oysters, I think. It looks like a big Lego. <laughs> the shell too is just come out in here, look. I feel like you can open up this area, this spot right here, and then you can also open up this, this part right here, and then this part, and they all We'll have some oysters. It. It's a little halibut, look! Oh, oh my god! Is it a upside halibut down. or a flounder? Put it, put it I don't down. know, look! Oh. I'm gonna check. Oh! Oh! Mm. Uh, it's a... Uh, I think it's a flounder. Oh, look! Oh! Ooh! <laughs> it doesn't want... It doesn't want to flip. Oh, look! Mm. 
<laughs> Look at that. So that's our first oyster right there. Good, huh? Grab it. Put it in. Yay. In the Ziploc. In the Ziploc. <laughs> Not in the, in the zip lock. <laughs> there's definitely a ton of uh, living things on this beach. There's a lot of crabs, there's a lot of oysters. We haven't seen uh, the little spouts yet for horse clams or uh, goey ducks. Hoping to find one for next month. Okay, just found another it's a big oyster right here. It looks big, but let's check. But let's see what's inside. how big inside. <laughs> I do not know there's so tiny halibuts in here. How do you open them, mom? How do you know it's where where's the spot? Oh. In case, basically just using a knife right now to shut the. Uh, Oyster Ooh. shell. Look at that. That's a big oyster. It's <laughs> a big one. Mom, that looks awesome. Can you find pearls inside them? Mm. Can you find pearls inside? Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know how to do this. See, use it as a leverage right there. Yep. Almost there. Yes, I opened it. Kill it. Insecure. Yep, there you go. Little by little right here. I don't know how to do this. <gasps> yeah. There you go. That's, that's tiny. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. Don't leave the big one. <laughs> oh no, you gotta take it off from the shelf first. There you go. No, I think that's still gonna be yeah, it's still stuck in there. Right there. There you go. All right. My first oyster. In the bag. In the Ziploc. All right, so, so far, uh, Kay and Sean have gotten their first uh, couple oysters. Definitely way easier than uh, horse clamming or trying to shoot for goey ducks. All you gotta do is just pick up an oyster and chuck it on the beach. The regs basically states that uh, you need a two and a half inch oyster and this one right here is about four inches in length so that's good to go so far these clams are huge i mean they're definitely way bigger than the two and a half inch that uh, the regs require they're averaging what at least four four or five inches uh, wide and as you can see right now right behind us there's a couple of families doing this as well pretty straightforward uh, thing that uh, families can do just come out here uh, grab some uh, oyster shucking tool get a knife or you can get one of those uh, oyster uh, you can get one of those uh, tools to shuck your oyster it's uh, pretty much a fun thing to do uh, with your family so this one has like one, two, there's about five of them in one cluster. Pretty amazing. <laughs> I don't know where to open it. That's what happened to me, Mom. Yeah, it looks very confusing. Uh -huh. There's a lot of shells on top of shells. There you oh, go. there you go. <laughs> you found it. Look at that. And that's a big one, too. Ooh. How you doing? Um, good. <laughs> oh, is it the right way? Oh, it is the right way. I need to cut it good. Yeah, you gotta cut it the, uh, where it's attached to the shell. There it's you go. It's moving now. Right in the bag. All these are the oyster shells that people have shucked. Oysters look really cool. Look at that. Looks very, uh, very healthy. 
That looks big, look at that. <laughs> I found that. Did I? Oh. That's a lot of meat. Wow. Oh, that's big. Is there more in the back? <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, that one, I think. So these oysters are huge. So we're getting close to maxing out and the water's starting to come in now too. We actually got here about an hour after the low tide. Definitely recommend if you guys are doing this to do it as the tide goes down. So you have plenty more time to go out to where the oysters are. Somebody had opened this oyster. There's one, two, three, four, and five for one. Wow. That's a ton. Yeah. Look, this is how my knives look like. So definitely use not these, but this one right here. That's the actual tool that you want to use for shucking oysters. These are just knives. So we're out of what, two knives now? The tip broke off. <laughs> Here's the catch for the day. So we've got 18 oysters per person i'm actually kind of tempted to try this out out here as well but uh i wouldn't recommend it just because um it's safer to cook them uh first before trying them out but here they are we have moved over to the uh, state park what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and do some catch and cook so what are we uh, planning on doing with our oysters I don't know yet okay I actually brought some uh, marinated meat right here is that chicken or chicken yep <laughs> chicken marinated chicken so we're gonna have uh, some marinated barbecue chicken so for the oysters uh, Kay is actually planning on grilling them for our ingredients I'm gonna use onions, I already chopped it, the green onions, and um, chili, and of course our cheese. This barbecue is smelling very good. So what did you use for the marinade? I just used um, soy sauce, garlic powder, and um, ground black pepper, a little bit sugar, and lemon. Definitely comment down below if you guys want to find out case recipe for this barbecue chicken it smells very good I'm gonna put this inside the grill for about three minutes to remove some water I'm gonna use them to bake oysters <laughs> these things are typically what you would use for uh, making some flan or leche flan uh, it's a filipino dessert and if you don't have something like this you can pretty much use a, a small pan for cooking we're gonna make um two different ones so one is gonna be spicy and the other one is just a regular and now um the water from the oysters have been removed now time to put them in here So it's looking like there's extra flames in there. <laughs> now it's done. Time to put it on the grill. On Just look grill? at this chicken right here. It looks very delicious. Check this out. It's very good. Perfectly cooked. A little bit of caramelization. This chicken is amazing. Look at that, there's a raccoon. <laughs> He's so cute. What's up, buddy? How you doing? You hungry? <laughs> Check this out, it's still kind of hot. <laughs> Man, look at all that cheese. Time to try it. Check this out. 
the creaminess of the cheese, oysters, freshly caught oysters. Can't get any better than this. Now, time to try the uh, the spicy one right here. You can see the chili. Just look at that. What is this? What happened here? Um, the raccoon took it. <laughs> the raccoon? Yeah. These oysters are very clean tasting. It's very good, fresh. Actually, a little bit sweet too. We have just uh, switched spots here. We are on our way to one of the falls here in Washington. A uh, pretty short hike. Look at the stuff right behind us. Isn't this just amazing? I can hear the falls. This falls is very nice looking. It's almost kind of like a secret falls around this area, but it's such a nice looking fall. Uh, there's some people here right now, but it's not too bad. Uh, it's actually the weekend right now too, so I'm pretty surprised how there's not a whole lot of people right now. But that is the end of our video for today. Hope you guys are liking this catch and cook video. Uh, and we're also hoping that in the next couple weeks that we're gonna be able to catch our first salmon for the season so definitely keep an eye out for that thanks again for watching this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to support our channel leave a comment below because we want to hear from you and if you have not yet subscribed definitely hit the subscribe button thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one